What was really fascinating about what was published in Gemma Neurology was that they looked at folks who were on these TNF-alpha drugs with inflammatory bowel disease. And if you were on the TNF-alpha drug, you got less Parkinson's. Okay, if you look across those large cohorts, there was something about reducing the inflammation or something about the action of these drugs. And now other groups have gone into their data and repeated it and said, okay, you've got to replicate in science and said, you know what, this looks like it's true. So we're starting to see this trend and we're starting to see inflammatory diseases associated with Parkinson's. And so it raises that question as we begin to look at the gut and we're seeing inflammation and we're seeing the relationship with inflammation and Parkinson, we're even seeing a Parkinson gene associated with some of these inflammatory gut diseases really makes us rethink, like, should we be paying attention to inflammation in our diets?